hire. I'm looking out for you here, Max. If you say a word to anyone, I'll have you. You'll be out of here so fast, you'll never know what hit you. You don't mean that. You want to be a consultant? Well, just remember that that depends on me. And nobody likes a whistleblower. That's it. Uh, can I get back to work now? Are you mad? You should take a sickie. Charlie, no one's going to mind if he takes a sickie, are they? No, of course not. Yeah, I'll get back to work. It's all the same. Uh, would you mind talking to Sergeant James? It's just the police are still holding your attacker and uh, they want to be sure you're going to prosecute. Oh, uh, let's just leave it. Uh, I don't want to. How many times have you walked past that poster? The message is plain. We have to prosecute. It was heat of the moment stuff. The man was upset. His wife no, was there. No, really, that's, that's no excuse. Besides which, you're going to need a criminal reference number when you want to file for compensation. I'm not looking to make money out of this. No, I will not press charges. Oh, um, I caught you. Listen, are we going to be right later? A uh, bit of a bad time. I'll call you later. <laughs> Might hear. <laughs> Might hear what? Nothing. 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 What? News flash. All departments. Charlie Fairhead and Jan Goddard are getting it on. It's from Oliver, the security bloke. Apparently, it's possible. Charlie and Jan. I would have thought she was his type. No, you wouldn't, would you? Do you have any allergies? No. Ever fainted? Migraine? No. Does anyone in your family suffer from fainting heart disease, migraine? No, not that I know of, but then I'm adopted, so... Oops. Have you found what you're looking for? Oh, uh, I'm just ruling a few things out. Precaution with concussion, it's routine. <laughs> no, I mean, have you found someone that would make you want to run away to Vegas? Uh, I found plenty of made me want to run away full stop. Does that count? So how come you run away? When you do meet someone. Cause it always ends in tears. Okay, I'm almost done here. I just want to do your reflexes and then some do quicks, right? Okay. <clears throat> sweep up here. Okay, yeah, let's like this. Okay. The other one? Yeah, you know, I never really went in for that Ken and Barbie happy ever after stuff. Oh, me neither. You're kidding. What about you and Ron? More like a one-night stand that never ended than a real grown-up relationship. Whatever that is. Mm. Living in the moment, that's Ron's thing. It sounds great, but it doesn't pay the bills. No, I guess not. How'd you get those bruises? <laughs> Can't remember. An accident waiting to happen. That's me. Oh, Max, could you... I'm never going to believe this, but rumor has it that Charlie's got a thing going with the sea and Jan Goddard. Yeah, he's been seeing her for a while now. You knew? He hasn't said anything to me. Where'd you get it? The stuff to put you in here? From you. Don't give me that. I didn't give you enough for you to OD. I made sure I didn't. Okay, so I got some bloke. I said we'd do this my way. I'd give you the methadone, you'd stop the smack, and now you pull this. Don't talk to me like I'm some kind of... Manipulative, two-faced liar. You got dimorphine in this place. I need a hit. Like now. Who do you think I am? Your dealer. Help me out, or I'll tell. I'll tell Mum. Tell her what help you've been. Good old Max, always there for me. Him and his family-sized bottle of methadone. Go right ahead. Come on, just get me something. Please. Not this time. Clean up. Otherwise, you're on your own. It's confidential, yeah? You can't tell anyone. Well, not unless you've gone murdered someone, you haven't, have you? So I can get, like, pills and things and you don't say? Well, it says here that you're 16, so no one has to know if you don't want them to. But secrets can be hard to keep, so I'd say you're better off coming clean yourself. 
just want to be like everybody else. Well, I'm sorry. We haven't got pills for that. Don't laugh at me. I wasn't. I didn't mean it to sound like that. Just make it go away. Are you in trouble? Is that it? Are you asking me for the morning after pill? You think that's what I'm here for? Well, I can't help you if you won't tell me what the problem is. What are you hiding there? Why would anyone want to touch that? Eczema. I don't want the pill. I want pills, steroid pills, to make it go away. Don't tell me it's just a phase. They've been telling me since I was five. Don't worry, Jenny. You'll grow out of it. Hang on. J Jenny, I thought your name was Rita. Doesn't matter. Well, it mattered enough for you to lie to me, so why is that? Because no one ever listens to Jenny. Looking for something? Yeah, exact figures on assaults in any. What for? You're covering your back. Fending off compensation claims, are we? What? Because if you are, I'll fight you on it. I'll fight you all the way. Look, I just want the same as you. To run this place as best I can with very limited resources. You can't keep putting my staff at risk because money's tight. Charlie, I am not the enemy. We're all on the same side. At least, I think we are. Well, you're not the worst of them anyway. Oh, gee, thanks. You silver-tongued charmer, you. Uh, that came out all wrong. Mm. I will get you those figures later on. Thank you. Sorry. God, it's a minefield sometimes, keeping work and other stuff apart. Sleeping with a boss has never been easy. Is that right? You make a habit of it, do you? Have you seen this? Bloody hell. We've been outed. Hmm. How do we respond? Well, we either run away or we tough it out. Of course, we could always pour petrol on the flames. What is it? So you've got a patient. She's been in and out of here with lots of little accidents. Mm-hmm. Like what? Sprained to left wrist, accidental scalding, broken fingers, trapped in the door. I'd say you're looking at query domestic violence. Me too. She doesn't look like the victim type. The trouble, though, there isn't a type, is there? My mum never listens to me. I keep asking her to, you know, take me to a dermatologist. Know what she does? Sends me to a homeopath instead. Know what he gave me? Sulfur pills. And they didn't work. <laughs> My sister Rita, she's been using steroids for years. They've cleared her eczema up really well. I can't give you oral steroids, pills. They're inappropriate for someone your age. Maybe we can arrange your prescription for a steroid skin cream. Now, it's strong, and you can't use it all the time, so you'll need to see a dermatologist as well. Thanks. You're absolutely sure you've got all the facts right. He admitted it straight out. Ben can't handle rehab. So... <clears throat> Max is dead set on sorting it his own way. Except that means ordering methadone from the pharmacy, passing it off as supply for the department, and then giving it to Ben. What's he thinking of? There's just no talking to him. Believe me, I've tried. I mean, I'm worried about Max, but... He's finished if this comes out. The hospital has guidelines on controlled drugs for a reason. Well, you did the right thing bringing it to me, Patrick. Thank you. I'll handle it from here. Ah, workaholic. Oh. Juliet, those bruises on your arms, is there any possibility that they were caused by someone else? You mean, did someone whack me? No, I did it to myself. Probably collided with a coffee table. One too many vodka tonics. <laughs> you wanted someone taken upstairs? Yeah, thanks. I'll go through your x-rays with you when you get back. Fine. You should get yourself an x-ray while we're up there. Mm. Looks like you've been in the wars too. Yeah, we're right there. I thought it was quite a change of policy to keep methadone in the department. Yeah, well, it was just uh, more of a one-week trial, really. We're, uh, we're seeing many more addicts in the department these oh, days. I can imagine, yeah. But it was, uh, it was a disaster, too much of a security risk. So if you just cancel the stock order that Max put through. No problem. All right, thanks.
I said no. <laughs>